In these cash-strapped times, it's worth looking at any way to reduce your household spending, and that includes car expenses. In the United States, customers are getting massive refunds on their insurance premiums. Tonight, there's pressure for companies here to do the same. These days, it feels like we're spending more time cleaning our cars than driving them. Good 60 to 70 per cent less. We've both been uh, working from home of late. Forecasts suggest less time on the road can reduce accident risk by 60 per cent. That's why insurers overseas are giving billions of dollars in refunds on premiums. Some are on the front foot here as well. UE just announcing a 15 per cent temporary cash back. Try and do whatever we can to assist our customers. And because our customers are using their cars less, or some of our customers at least, we are offering this premium relief. The RACQ says customers can definitely expect reduced bills this year. You will see probably a 9 out of 10 cases are a reduction in your motor insurance over the next 12 months. Something you can do right now to save, most premiums let you nominate the distance you drive. For example, insuring a late model SUV costs around $64 a month if you travel 20,000 kilometres a year. But if you now estimate you'll drive only 5,000 k's, your premium can reduce by around $20 a month to about $45. You have every right to ask your car insurance provider, am I entitled to some kind of discount? If you really need to save and have multiple cars in your household, you could take some off the road and downgrade your insurance from comprehensive to third party that's covered in your rego. You won't be insured for events like storms. Any savings made will be quickly wiped out by the cost incurred of that damage or stolen vehicle. Even if you are not using some cars in the household, it's important to turn them on regularly. Otherwise, you might get a flat battery and find yourself forking out hundreds of dollars for a new one. A lot of people aren't using their car for uh, weeks on end and then jumping in and, and they can't go and we've had to be called out. Sophie Ryan, Nine News.